Good evening, everybody. Um, so I wanted to come on and do an update. I ended up going for my upper GI today. And I'm sure a lot of you, if you've already had weight loss surgery, you may have already had one because I think they do it for a leak test. Usually after you have your gastric bypass or um, your... Uh, I can't even think straight. Uh, my mind went blank. Anyways, after any type of weight loss surgery, a lot of times doctor, your surgeons will send you for a leak test. And I think it's the same thing, same type of test. I'm not 100% sure though, so don't take me on that. I, however, did not have the leak test after my surgery because the surgeon said if you had a leak, you would definitely know. So, excuse me. Um you would definitely know if you had a leak. So I didn't have that after my surgery. And <clears throat> sorry guys, uh, this is horrible. But anyways, so the test results already came back. Um, they do show that I have a gastro, gas, whatever. There is a fistula there um, leaking into my old stomach that's not in use anymore uh of course this was just the results were just posted i just had the test a little while ago so i haven't even heard from my surgeon yet i'm sure they'll call me tomorrow i have no idea how it's treated i don't know if i'm going to have to have surgery again um i know there was talk early on when i had my um also, that if I continue to have problems, that he may have to make my pouch smaller because the surgeon that done my surgery had made my pouch a lot bigger than what they normally make the pouch, I guess. I don't know. Um, so anyways, you know, it's been a rough couple weeks. You know, my um, stomach pain is horrible. Acid is just coming up. It's, it's bad. Um, and then on top of that, my surgeon didn't want me until after these test results came back. He didn't want me taking um, over-the-counter um, protonics anymore. He told me just to take um, over-the-counter. The protonics, of course, was a prescription, but he didn't want me taking them. He said just take over-the-counter like Tums and stuff. So that's what I've been doing. Doesn't help. Um, but at least I'm finally getting some answers as to what's going on. I do know the surgeon told me that the fistula after gastric bypass is rare, but it can happen. And just my luck. So I will keep you guys updated as soon as I hear from them to let you know what they do. I have no idea, like I said, if there's a way to repair it without surgery. I have no idea. Obviously, I will let you know as soon as I know more. So, I just wanted to kind of update you guys. So, if you haven't had a upper GI and you're just curious, you go into the room. They have you stand up against this backboard and there's like a camera thing in front. And they make you drink this really super fizzy stuff and like legit, like I thought my pouch was going to explode because it puts air in your esophagus and your pouch, stomach, whatever. And um, to expand it. So when you drink after that, you drink this really, really super thick white stuff. It didn't taste bad. It really didn't have much of a taste at all. And then you drink that, they start taking pictures. Then you hold on to the table, and as you're standing up, they lay the whole table down. And then they make you like turn onto your left side, then your stomach, then your other side, and then back to your back. So, like, it coats everything in there. And then as you're laying down on each side, they have you put more of that stuff in your mouth, and then you have to hold it in your mouth. And then they'll tell you to swallow. And whenever you swallow it, excuse me. This the burping and acid is just horrible. Um, they, as you swallow it, they start taking images or whatever to see if that stuff is going, if everything's working normally. So, um, like I said, as soon as I know, I will keep you guys updated through this whole process, just in case anybody else ever happens to go through this, so I can keep you updated and let you know 
step by step what they do to repair this or if I'm going to have to have surgery. I don't know. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.